I pray the Holy Spirit of God would lead me and guide me this day to give this word to his children, my brothers and sisters. In Jesus' name I pray. I have a word today from our sister, Julie Wedby, from IamCallingYouNow.blogspot.com, from Behold I Come. Many refuse to hear me, so be it, the end has come. My children, listen very carefully to what I am speaking to you. My word speaks of the time when knowledge shall increase, and much revelation will be given concerning what has been written. That time is now. For those who have prepared and who are walking in obedience to me, I am revealing many, many things about what is to happen on this earth. A great and mighty war rages in the heavens, and now it is time for my army to engage, as she was trained to do. For the darkness has come, and Satan's time is very short in hell. As I take unto myself my first fruits, they will be infused with all power and authority and be given abilities that have never been known until now. I have reserved for them for such a time as this. And when I reveal them to the world, the world will be astonished at what has occurred. As what will happen has never been seen. Many will be purified and made white, but the wicked will not understand. He that is unjust, let him be unjust still, but he that is holy, let him be holy still. Through these, my translated ones, I will pour out my anointing, and they shall walk and not grow faint. They shall run and not be wearied. They will heal the sick and cast out demons, raise the dead and manifest as I direct them to do. A wonder to behold, Yes, as all I have reserved for the season is poured out upon them. They will hear with one heart, and they will be given supernatural peace amidst the utter chaos that is in the world. They will be as lampstands, and my presence through them on earth will be undeniable. I will use them to minister to the desperate and the lost, and many will come to know me by their example. I will use them for a very short time, then I will take them home as the disobedient and the cold-hearted peoples of the world remain to endure the terror which will reign during the Antichrist system. Truly I am at the door, yet so many refuse to believe. So be it, the end has come, and I will not delay. There will still be a choice for those who remain during the beast system, if they survive the calamities and judgments that are here. But those days will be grossly dark, and many, many will die for my name's sake. Are you really listening? Do you hear with your spirit what I am saying to you? The end is here. It has come, and so few have prepared. You will see now, before your very eyes, that all I speak of is truth. These words will testify, after this has taken place, that I am faithful and I am true, and my word will not return to me void. Hearken to the words of your Creator. When all else is gone, I remain. Yahushua Jesus. I will have the scriptures below. I hope each and every one of you had a wonderful time with your families and were able to share some time with them and plant some seeds and give thanks and glory to God on Thanksgiving Day. Glory to God in the highest, for he alone is worthy of praise. As with any message, please go into your prayer closets and seek confirmation from the Holy Spirit of God. And trust in no man and in no woman, but put your full faith and trust in Jesus Christ, our risen King and Savior. I pray that he would place his hedge of protection round about you on all sides, above you and below you. I pray, pray that he would cover your house and your vehicles, your places of work and worship, your pets and your provisions, your children, their schools and their activities. I pray he would place this hedge of protection, the same that he placed around Job and his family. I pray that he would cover you all with the blood of Jesus. Glory to God in the highest, for he alone is worthy of praise. I pray all this in the name of Jesus Christ, my risen King and Savior. Amen and amen.